Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate 2017 exam. It's for one mark. They are saying, if this pattern represents some number in 32 bit single precision, IEEE 754 format, what is the closest decimal value out of these four represented by this 32 bit single precision number? Okay. Now, in standard IEEE format, single precision is divided into three parts. First one is sine, then exponent, then mantissa. Sine is a single bit. Exponent is represented by 8 bits in 32 bit format. Okay, IEEE format. And remaining bits are for the mantissa part. That means first bit represents sine. This bit is 0, which implies this number is some positive number. Okay, next 8 bits. That means from here to here. They represent the exponent. So this part is exponent of given number. Let us see what is its value. It is 6, 31 into 2. 31 into 2 is 62. 62 into 2 is 124. So this value is 124. Okay. Now you guys know whenever we save some number in 32 but single precision, we add some bias to the exponent. Whatever is the actual exponent, we add a value of 127 to it. Okay, that means this has 127 extra, which is already added while this number was saved. Okay, that is the reason in formula we have E minus 127. Okay, so we need to subtract that 127, which was already added when this number was saved. So actual exponent will be biased exponent minus 127 whatever is present in this uh, number it is biased exponent so from this value you subtract 127 that is 124 minus 127 which comes out to be minus 3 okay actual exponent of this number is minus 3 now let us see what is mantissa from here all of these bits represent mantissa and the formula is 1 point mantissa into 2 raised to the power e minus 127. We have already found out what is e minus 127. Now let's write 1 point mantissa. So 1 point mantissa is 110 110 110 and 1. Okay. Now actually this entire number is mantissa. But whenever you have zeros after decimal on rightmost side, all of zeros, they can be neglected. Okay, they don't change the value of a number. So I've neglected all of these zeros. So this is the number we have already seen sign as positive. So it represents some positive value. And you know, actual exponent is two raised to the power minus three. Okay. The actual exponent is minus 3. That's why I'm writing 2 raised to the power minus 3, which is multiplied by this number. Now in base 2, whenever you have 2 raised to the power something, that means decimal point is moved by some n bits. Okay. That is in this case, we are moving it by 3 bits to this side. Okay. When you want to solve this, we will move this decimal point. Actually, it's not decimal point. In binary system, it's called the binary point. In any number system, it's called radix point. So we will move this radix point by three places. One, two, three. Okay, so it will go here. All of these bits can be assumed to be zero. Okay, so what you get is 0 0.001. Okay, so this is your number. And this 2 raised to the power minus 3 is now solved. Okay. This can be neglected. The number is 0 0.001. Okay. You convert this binary number into decimal number and you can see which of these four is correct. Look, option A and option B can be rejected because these numbers will be greater than zero. 
This is 14.5. This one is 22.7. But whatever we are getting, it is 0. Point something. Okay, so this number will be smaller than 0, even if you convert it in decimal number system. Let's just convert it in decimal number system. So weight here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, then it is 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You can see if we convert it into decimal, we will get 1 by 2 raised to the power 3, which is 8. 1 by 2 raised to the power 4, which is 16. 1 by 2 raised to the power 5, which is 32. Okay, we can stop here. Or let's just consider one more bit. Plus 1 by 2 raised to the power 7, which is 128. Okay, we can neglect last three bits. Because even if that bit is on, see, bit for weight of 8 is high, but we can neglect it because 5 will be very small value. We can get the approximate answer from these numbers only. Okay, so I'm performing this addition and I'll let you know the answer. So this comes out to be 0 0.22656, 0 0.22656, okay. Now you can see which of the options is correct. It is option C, 2.2, okay. This can be written as 2.26, 2.26, Five six into ten raised to the power minus one, and you can see option C is the nearest one. Okay, so option C is your answer. Thank you very much.